so far, very impatient offense from both teams. Just shooting the first available shot. Not really the kind of start if you're the bo both coaches. Here comes Domingo. First point of the game. He scored 18 points, got a rebound, an assist, and two steals. And, and he's a tough cover for any age group. That is definitely true. And speaking of Domingo, first four points of inside. You see a couple of kickouts. It looks like they will settle for that floater at the elbow, finally going in. Well, that's a bit. But you love to see the confidence, Coach Mark. Again, he scored 18 points in their last outing. But meantime, Vicente able to put up a shot off the glass. Defense by Coronel to slow down the break as Manduluyong forced to reset. Tough shot. Going in, finally. A lucky break for Manda. Another three. Train doesn't get it to fall. Coronel, it's a two on two situation. Attacks the rim. Doesn't matter, he will finish anyway. That's the best shot so far for Antipol. 18 minutes to be exact. Only one turnover and impressively three out of three from the free throw line. But meanwhile, Malquisto able to put a shot. And it's Kongzon. Sends it to Gupilan. They will fire. Nothing but the iron of the ring. The instant impact from Gupilan. See again here the three point shot by Gupilan. Kamakacho. Full confidence by this. Five assists, three steals. In almost 27 minutes of action as Eman <laughs> Simple. Gupilan losing the leather. Here comes JD Wanko. All the way to the cup for two. Another turnover, another fast break point in Wanko. Almost for a left. We see the replay of uh, the fast break left by Wanko. Point gap in favor of the Antipolo Titans as we see a couple of baskets from Antipolo. Tough buckets as well from Mandaluyong but we shall return for some second quarter action. Games, they were 0 out of 9 in their first game. Now they're currently 0 out of 5. And this guy's not 0, he's 2 out of 2. And that, that's what you like to see. Go Pila. Definitely. Alam mo Coach Mark. <laughs> Here comes Antipolo setting up the offense. Ends up with Wanko. Corner 3 going in for JD Wanko. Follow their first three of the season. And that's what we've all been waiting for. But on the other side, does it fall? Here comes Aguilar. Are you play? Aguilar to JD Wanko. Oh, the fast break. Not wasting any time. Looking to pull off fast breaks, but they're forced to reset. Gopilan puts it in. Three out of three for number 30. Chat has been keeping them in this game. Samtala for Antipolo. Transition has given them the lead. And as I say that, they knocked down the second three of the season. Game and now two so far in their second game. And as I'm speaking, Aguilar from JD Wango. Kanina, Aguilar from Wango. Ngayon naman. Goals. Not really the recipe for success. Short in the attempt and the putback going in for Encela. First game, that's when they made that big run. Exactly, coach. And they may be saving up this time. Oh, Whoa, what, what a rebound, rebound from Wanko, the little guy climbing up the ladder. Wanko having good game so far. He's leading the way with nine points. Here comes Amanda Luyong. Back to Gopilan. Makes it again! Gopilan, four out of four. Remember the name. That I want to know. <laughs> Meanwhile, Domingo showing what he's capable of. It's just too easy for Domingo. You know, he, he's 14 years old. The Ateneo Blue Eaglets then, Coach Mark. Oh. But meanwhile, here comes Antipolo. Breakaway layup coming from Ochavilio. Another look on that fast break layup coming from Ochavilio. And the junior, Domingo. Able to get a hand on it. Ice on the rim. Or rather, ice on Zion Aguilar. Uh, Domingo was in. Here comes Manda. Oh, settling for an outside shot. And that goes in 
plus a foul courtesy of Prince Charles Bernardo. You see here the foul called after the shot because the, the follow lead for Antipolo as Mandaluyong looking to come up with something. This may be it. Another one falling. Remember the name again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, Braden Gopilan. What did you have for lunch? I think it has been so far for Braden Gopilan. Meanwhile, Malquisto oh. of that scoop pass from Aguilar. Missing that one, but there was number 20, Ochavillo, on the follow. Putting up a play, sends it to Malquisto. Hands it off to Aguilar once more. Back to Malquisto. He fires. Get it to go! Last for the Antipolo JY Titans. Again, crazy half. A lot of three pointers. A lot of crazy shots inside. Even an end one. Almost a four point play. Your thoughts, Coach Mark? Well, or to provide him with some help. Meanwhile, Olves, the runner, going in, getting that lucky bounce. Get out. A lot of kick outs for this Antipolo squad, but ending with an Eman Simple shot. And we've said it for moves, but very effective. Making it look simple. Meanwhile, JD Wanko. Slow bounce going in. Down the break. Gupilan receiving it. He takes it inside, challenges Eman Simple, falling for him! Eman Simple who says Braydon Gupilan. Meanwhile, Eman Simple. Simple, Simple. Train. Does it get that to go? He gets the offensive board. Another shot. Eman Simple not able to cover that shot of Train. Eman Simple bothering that shot. Wanko receiving it from Peña. The bump, the attack, the bucket, plus the foul. Wanko. A pound for pound fitness, foul counted move. To fill up the stat sheet once more is J. Shot. Cost by Eman Simple. Another try. Still not going, but another steal. They can't convert, but finally. Made it work. You see here the steal, the pound for pound fitness foul counted play of the game. Yeah, regardless of how many misses they had, and the ball finally gets those three points. Has the leather, the crossover, the attack gets it to go, slicing the defense. Pretty move by Coronel. Meanwhile, Braden Gupilan, another shot, this time a two pointer. No, Gupilan showing the midi. Coronel sends it to Wanko. He takes it inside for a runner. In and out. Eman Simple. Put back. Going in. Plus a foul. You cannot take your eyes. Deficit they are facing. Great passing. Abahon ends up with it. Fires from that right wing. Bring their ugly head. We'll see the three-point shot by Abahon. Big time. Coronel running up the court. Over a minute remaining in our third period. Coronel, crossover, mid-range jumper, clean, silky, smooth jumper by coach Alvin Gray. Another look at that left elbow, silky, smooth jumper from Cor you pressure pero this game walang ka pressure pressure kay Braydon he showed out he showed out leading his team in scoring but he needs more help and Domingo oh, showing out attempt Malquisto with the board Antipolo running up the court Malquisto sends it to Aguilar he takes it inside from the corner doesn't go second chance going in for Zion Aguilar oh. picked up by Rolanda the pick from Zway Cruz another pick from Barcelona, still with Malquisto, kicks it out, Zion Aguilar, gets it to go! It's been a great game for Aguilar, meanwhile a miss 
from Mandaluyong followed up by a make. Oh, that in possession. So ball going the other way. Malquisto, tough shot not going in. Zue Cruz bumping his way inside for two points. Zue Cruz played for Malabon Fisher Mall last season now with Antipolo. And speaking of, Aguilar missing it. But second chance going in. He, he's trying to get the rebounds, Coach Mark. <laughs> Orlanda inside inside the paint jumper going in for Cabagte seconds to shoot oh great play finding Estrada off that inbound very so the same coach mark being quiet in the in the recent activities and I think it's reasonable because she lang din talagang gumagawa from Mandaluyong and that's what Mandaluyong will have to figure out yun nga sabi mo coach mga bunot so again that's uh, the urgency that you need Minwa really can underestimate it that's true because last season yung buong program nila not only the 14 under but both in the 16 and 18 as well maganda yung pinakita can be that guy can be the main guy. It can be the guy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the move. He is that guy. He is him. Meanwhile, Antipolo still trying to make buckets. Fade away from Peña going in. Here. That is a miss coming from Manda. So now Antipolo. Just leaving the ball on the floor. Great sign of sportsmanship, actually. And that will do it.